Good evening. Welcome to the November 7th, 2017 Yukon City Council and Yukon Municipal Authority meeting held in the Centennial Building, 12 South 5th Street, Yukon, Oklahoma. This evening, our invocation will be presented by Pastor Mark Borseth of Resurrection Lutheran Church, followed by the flag salute. Mr. Borseth. Reverend Borseth. For some reason, Ron Rasmussen didn't want to pray just because he's in Texas today. I can't figure out why. why so. <laughs> yeah. Let's pray. God, we thank you for this city. We thank you for blessing us with a good place to live with good people. And we thank you for good leadership and pray that you bless the, the discussions that are happening tonight among the council and um, the, all the work that happens in our city government here in Yukon, our county government here in Canadian County. We thank you for the leaders who have shared their gifts and their time and their talents and their energy and pray for blessings upon our council tonight on our city staff tonight. Uh, we pray for, for them individually, for their health, for their families, for their relationships, uh, that you would bless them as they seek to serve others. We thank you for the city. We pray blessings upon our schools, our students, teachers, families, school staff. We pray blessings upon our businesses, our, our uh, chamber of commerce. We pray blessings upon our police and fire department. We just thank you for the gifts you've given us and help us to be good stewards of these gifts as we serve one another, as we love one another. We thank you, God. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. McCarran? Here. Schmeisterla? Here. Russell? Here. Alberts? Here. Yonda? We have a proclamation this evening uh, for Small Business Saturday. So, Terry Martin, would you care to come up and join me, please? Our proclamation this evening, whereas the government of the city of Yukon celebrates our local small businesses and the contributions they make to our local economy and the community, according to the United States Small Business Administration, there are currently 28.8 million small businesses in the United States. They represent 99 0.7% of all of the businesses with employees in the United States and are responsible for 63% of net new jobs created over the past 20 years. And whereas 76% of all <coughs> consumers plan to go to one or more small businesses as part of their holiday shopping and whereas the city of Yukon supports our local businesses that create jobs boost our local economy and preserve our neighborhoods and whereas advocacy groups as well as public and private organizations across the country have endorsed the Saturday after Thanksgiving as Small Business Saturday. Now, therefore, I, Michael McCarran, Mayor of Yukon, Oklahoma, do hereby proclaim November 25th, 2017 as Small Business Saturday and urge all the residents of our community and the communities across the country to support small business and merchants on Small Business Saturday throughout the year. Given under my hand and seal this day, the seventh day of November, 2017. of the Yukon 
66 Main Street on 12 to receive this proclamation from the mayor. And I want to take this opportunity to thank the city of Yukon, city council, Jim Crosby, and everyone else who's been so supportive of our programs and organizations. Thank you. Thank you. This is our visitor section of the meeting where visitors can come forward and address the council on a non agended item. Do we have any folks to who wish to speak? I have no request, Mr. Mayor. Okay, anyone from the audience? Thank you very much. We will now recess as the Yukon City Council and reconvene as the Yukon Municipal Authority. Item 1A is the YMA consent docket. This item is placed on the agenda. So the Yukon Municipal Authority, by unanimous consent, can designate those routine items they wish to be approved by one motion. If an item does not meet with the approval of all the authority members, that item will be heard in regular order. <coughs> item, the city manager recommends a motion to approve A, the minutes of the regular meeting of October the 17th, 2017, B, payment of material claims in the amount of $219,179.01. Do I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Motion is a second. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, vote, please. Alberts? Yes. Russell? Yes. McCarran? Yes. Smeistro? Yes. Item 2A, consider approving an agreement for bond council services with the Public Finance Law Group, PLLC, and Williams, Box, Forshe, and Bullard, PC, for <coughs> professional and legal services regarding the issuance of the sales tax revenue note taxable series 10, or 2017B, pursuant to resolution YMA 2017-06, passed on October 17, 2017. Do I have a motion, please? Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, vote please. Russell? Yes. Smeistrela? Yes. Alberts? Yes. McCarran? Yes. Item 3A. Consider accepting the warranty deeds for the donation of two tracts of land from ODB Investors, LLC, for the construction and realignment of Vandeman Avenue, a tract located at the southwest quarter of Section 19, Township 12 North, Range 5 West of the Indian Meridian, City of Yukon, Canadian County, Oklahoma, known as Parcel Number 4 dot one and a track located in the northwest quarter of section 19 township 12 north range 5 west of the indian meridian city of yukon canadian county oklahoma known as parcel three do i have a motion please so moved second mr mayor yes, members sir. of the council these items uh 3A and 4A is the for the construction of Vandeman Avenue uh, in order to uh, build the intersection or uh, interchange at I-40 and Frisco Road. Uh, 3A is a donated deeds for two tracts of land that will be coming to us free of charge. 4A is returning the other land on the realignment of Vandeman because we adjusted that so that the abandonment will go on the north side of the water tower to align with the entrance of the new water park that will be built there. So 
like I say, both these items were donated uh, to the city or are being donated. We're returning the easement on 4A back to the landowner. Okay, thank you. Any other discussion, John? Thank you, Jim. <coughs> Seeing no further discussion, vote please. McCarran? Yes. Smyshula? Yes. Russell? Yes. Alberts? Yes. Item 4A, consider approving the warranty deed to donate excess property located on the north side of Frisco Road Water Tower to ODB Investors LLC, specifically excess property from the construction and realignment of Vanneman Avenue and Frisco Road, a tract located <coughs> at the southwest quarter, Section 19, Township 12 North, Range 5 West, of the Indian Meridian, City of Yukon, Canadian County, Oklahoma, known as Parcel 4. Do I have a motion, please? Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and second. Is there any additional discussion? Seeing none, vote please. Smystrula? Yes. Alberts? Yes. McCarran? Yes. Russell? Yes. We will now adjourn as the Yukon Municipal Authority and reconvene as the Yukon City Council. <coughs> item one is the City Council consent docket. This item is placed on the agenda so the City Council by unanimous consent can designate those routine items which they wish to be approved by one motion. If an item does not meet with the approval of all council members, that item will be heard in regular order. The city manager recommends a motion that will approve the meeting, <coughs> the minutes of the regular meeting of October the 17th, 2017. Payment of material claims in the amount of $570,051.59. Item C, designating the items on the attached list from the technology department as surplus and authorizing their sale, donation, or trade. D, entering into a billboard advertising agreement with Central Oklahoma Marketing Group for digital billboard advertising space from December 7, 2017 to June 1, 2018 in the amount of $7,200. E, accepting the recommendation of the Yukon Park Board to consider future splash pad sites at Kimball Park and Freedom Trail Playground. <coughs> F, accepting the recommendation of the Yukon Park Board to consider a more aesthetically pleasing structure to replace the fencing in front of the Yukon Community Center, located on the south side of Holly Avenue adjacent to Interstate 40. G, setting the date for the next regular council meeting for November 21, 2017, 7 p.m. in the council chambers of the Centennial Building at 12 South 5th Street. <coughs> Do I have a motion, please? I'd make a motion, except I'd like to, I'd make a motion for A, B, C, F, and G. I'd like to pull items D and E for just a little bit of discussion, please. Okay. All right, so do I have a motion for all the items except D and E? So moved. Second? Actually, you're the second. I'm oh, the second. oh, John, okay. Yeah. <coughs> okay, uh, vote please on the first items. McCarran? Yes. Alberts? Yes. Russell? Yes. Smystula? Yes. <clears throat> Item D, entering into a billboard advertising agreement with Central Oklahoma Marketing Group for a digital advertising space from December 7, 2017 to June 1, 2018 in the amount of $7,200. So moved. And second. Motion and second discussion, please. Jim, can you just, <clears throat> a little explanation just to, I understand, but the, for the purpose of, just for the audience, 
Yes, this is a one of those electronic billboards that the gentleman gave us a uh, a discount. This is a renewal of the agreement we had last year with him. We advertise uh, on all of our various things and events that happen in the city, and uh, we get uh, two different ads on there that we can use. We can change them monthly, and uh, this is about half price what you'd normally charge on this item. I think I saw chew your cheeks on there the other day. Yes. We'll have to vote on each one of these individually. Is that that's right. That's correct. Sir. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, vote on item D, please. Alberts? Yes. Russell? Yes. McCarran? Yes. Smyshkula? Yes. Item E, accepting the recommendation of the Yukon Park Board to consider future splash pad sites at Kimball Park and the Freedom Trail playground so moved second <coughs> discussion Jim I just wanted the letter it's just a letter from the park board saying would it, they recommend that we build these that's all that this is right that's correct it's not a commitment of this council it's just <coughs> accepting their recommendation to us and uh, I got this at some time in the future they'd like to see these things constructed uh, present time uh, we do not have any of these in our budget in our budget or our plans and it's something that we have to discuss at a later date to consider okay well having been on the park board and heard this discussion and then back on the council now I guess this is I'm working on my eighth this is my eighth <laughs> year so this has been a long time coming and I'm, I'm I'm pleased to see this on here a recommendation from the park board but so I, I as an advocate for our parks and more activities for the kids I would strongly urge that the city staff and the council would support this the park board recommendation and see that we can maybe work on one of these I think the recommendation was yeah for Freedom Trail and for Kimball Park uh, I would really really like to see us try to move forward uh, I know that in the past we've had a conversation about the community center pool and that it, it's probably moving toward the end of its lifespan so I just hope that we are looking toward the future and and take note of this recommendation from the park board that's my discussion okay sir thank you okay. any other discussion <coughs> seeing none vote please McCarran yes Alberts yes Smystrilla yes Russell yes <coughs> that completes the uh, item one Item two is reports of boards, commissions, and city officials. Mr. Crosby? No report this evening, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Item three, consider approving a memorandum of understanding between the city of Yukon and the Yukon Fraternal Order of Police for the purchase of police equipment effective October 1, 2017 through October 1, 2018 not to exceed $128,442. Do I have a motion, please? So okay. moved. Discussion? I'm I sorry, can what? second it. Oh, second. Oh, yeah. Pardon me. Okay, discussion, please. Mr. Mayor, this item comes before you. Uh, if you recall, we had uh, have been working to standardize equipment in the police department and what they carry. Uh, we standardized the pistols with an agreement with them in, uh, several months back. They'd like to standardize the rifles that are carried in their area. This will purchase the 46 uh, rifles they've requested and uh, the all the equipment that goes with them. And uh, this helps us also when they go to qualify at the range. We shooting with one shell instead of all types of shells and various costs and everything. And it's good to have standardized equipment. This is something I certainly believe in and would recommend that we approve this. Thank you, sir. Any other discussion? <coughs> Seeing none, vote please. Alberts? Yes. McCarran? Yes. Smystrilla? Yes. Russell? Yes. <coughs> Item four, consider awarding the contract for the 2017 
roof replacement project to today's roofing in an amount not to exceed $57,737 as recommended by the emergency manager. Do I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. A motion and a second. Uh, any discussion? Yes, please. Richard? Uh, just for the audience, more than anything, this was bid and had multiple. But yes, several years back, there was a number of roofs that were damaged uh, in a hailstorm. We received um, some payments on that from our insurance company. However, we never repaired those roofs. Again, should we have another storm of any kind and those roofs be damaged, we cannot receive any remuneration for that because we failed to uh, repair them in a timely manner and uh, we needed to move forward on it. We've had several problems with it and uh, once we discovered this, uh, we were moving forward to get these and we bid it and had a little problem with the bid, so we rebid it. This is a low bid and uh, we recommend that we get these roofs repaired. Okay, thank you. Any other discussion? What area, I mean, what building? Was it this building only or? Is no, there was uh, several. There was a number of buildings. There was a, the uh, police building has been damaged. There's a, uh, this building was damaged. Uh, there was, I think there was like four or five buildings that have been damaged. I just thought that might be a good idea. The gazebos out of the park. It's good to get them done. The well, gazebos, right, right. It's, we need to get them repaired. Any further discussion? Seeing none, vote please. Russell? Yes. Alberts? Yes. McCarran? Yes. Smystrilla? Yes. <coughs> Item 5, approving, consider approving Ordinance 1350, an ordinance which provides an amendment to the Code of Ordinances of the City of Yukon, Oklahoma, by amending certain sections as necessitated by 20 OS. 1313.2, and this is the updated Oklahoma Code section effective November 1st, 2017 of the Oklahoma statutes and declaring an emergency. Do I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. A motion and a second. Any discussion? Could you explain this a little bit? Yes, the state has passed some laws and uh, our ordinances are, were different from that as far as cost and charges for various things. This brings us into uh, alignment with state law, which we have to do. All right, thank you. Any further discussion? Seeing none, vote please. McCarran? Yes. Russell? Yes. Smystrilla? Yes. Alberts? Yes. Item 5A, consider approving the emergency clause of the ordinance for number 1350. Do I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Any discussion on the emergency? Seeing none, vote please. Alberts? Yes. Russell? Yes. Smystrilla? Yes. McCarran? Yes. Item 6, consider approving Ordinance 1351, an ordinance which provides an amendment to the Code of Ordinances of the City of Yukon, Oklahoma, by amending certain sections as necessitated by 20 OS 1313.3 and 1313.4, and these are state-mandated uh, increases in fees of Oklahoma statutes in declaring an emergency. Do I have a motion, please? Motion. Oh. Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? <coughs> Seeing none, vote please. Smystrilla? Yes. Russell? Yes. McCarran? Yes. Alberts? Yes. <coughs> Item 6A, consider approving the emergency clause of Ordinance 1351. Do I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, vote please. Russell? Yes. Alberts? Yes. McCarran? Item 7, 
Wait a minute, Mr. McCarran. I'm sorry, what? Your response to the Oh, I said vote? yes. Your yes? Sorry. And Smystro. Yes. Sorry, I went too far. Item 7. Consider approving Ordinance 1352, an ordinance <coughs> amending Ordinance Number 657, Appendix A of the Code of Ordinances of the City of Yukon, Oklahoma, by providing that the zoning designation for a part of the northwest quarter of Section 28, Township 12, Range 5 West of the Indian Meridian, Canadian County, Oklahoma, be changed from R3 Multifamily Residential District to C3 PUD, Restricted Commercial District Planned Unit Development, and declaring an emergency. Do I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. A motion and second. Any discussion on this item? Seeing none, vote please. Smystrilla? Yes. McCarran? Yes. Russell? Yes. Albert? Yes. Item 7A, consider approving the emergency clause of the ordinance 1352. Do I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. <clears throat> Any discussion? Vote, please. McCarran? Yes. Alberts? Yes. Smystrilla? Yes. Russell? Yes. Item 8. Consider approving resolution 2017-18, a resolution authorized the calling and holding of an election in the city of Yukon, Canadian County, Oklahoma, for the purpose of electing one council member from Ward 1, and one council member from Ward 2 for four-year terms ending in May 2022 and setting the filing period for the election. Do I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. <laughs> Any discussion? Okay. Vote, please. Alberts? Yes. Russell? Yes. Smystrilla? Yes. McCarran? Yes. <clears throat> Item 9, consider accepting the permanent easement from ODB Investors LLC for the construction of a storm drain for the Frisco Road project located at the Northwest Quarter, Section 19, Township 12, Range 5 West of the Indian Meridian, Yukon, <coughs> Canadian County, Oklahoma, known as Parcel 3.1. Do I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. A motion and second. Any discussion? <coughs> Vote, please. I, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, did, Jim, can you just 9, 10, 11, and 12? No. Or just 9, 10, and 11, they're all tied together. Is that right? Correct. Can you give us a little explanation? Yes, council Member Albert and members of the council. Uh, item 9 is just to the north of the uh, interchange of Vandeman Avenue. There is a storm drain that crosses that road. During the improvement of that road, in order to make it operative, we're going to have to replace that and extend that uh, uh, so many feet to the east to take care of the drainage on that. To do that, we have to get a uh, easement from the ODB investors, who the LLC, who owns the land. And again, this is something that will be part of the road project, and they're donating this or giving that to us free of charge. <clears throat> the same is true on the permanent easement uh, for an existing water line on the south side of the water tower between Frisco Road and Vandeman Avenue. This was the original alignment uh, of the road was to be on the south side of the water tower. When the water park came into existence, in order not to have a lot of different interchanges and what have you, we moved Vanment to the north of the water tower. Therefore, we gave that or giving that land back to the person that gave us, and they gave us a new easement north of the water tower in exchange for that. But we need to still keep an easement for our water line that's in existence to the water tower. This is uh, what 
number 10 is about. During construction, we have to have a temporary easement, again, for the realignment of Advent and Frisco Road, and that's what number 11 is about, and that is from, again, ODB Investors, LLC, and this is for the, a, and these are temporary easements, means once we get these items done, this easement will return to them. They'll, we're just getting it while the construction is going on during the construction phase. Same with, with item 12 from Butte Land Investment. That is on the other side of Frisco Road on the west side. And this is uh, during their interchange, right where their inter interchange or intersection will be, we have to have a temporary easement so that we can show that when we do the road in there and get in there and start doing some work. And uh, so Butte Land Investments is giving that to us in order that we can now bid that project and move forward which after we accept all these easements and temporary easements, we then will be coming back to our next meeting and asking for permission to go out and bid on Bannerman Avenue. Great. Thank you very much. And I appreciate ODB also working really hard with you, Jim, and making these things happen on this project. <coughs> Any further discussion? Seeing none, vote please. Russell? Yes. McCarran? Yes. Alberts? Yes. Smeistrela? Yes. Item 10, consider accepting the permanent easement from ODB Investors LLC for an existing water line on the south side of the water tower between Frisco Road and Vandeman Avenue, located in the southwest quarter of Section 19, Township 12 North, Range 5 West, of the Indian Meridian, the city of Yukon, Canadian County, Oklahoma, better known as Parcel 4.2. Do I have a motion, please? Motion to approve. Second. A motion and second. Any discussion? Seeing none, vote please. Smystrela? Yes. Russell? Yes. Alberts? Yes. McCarran? Yes. Item 11, consider accepting the temporary easements from ODB Investors LLC for the construction and realignment of Vandeman Avenue and Frisco Road for A, a tract of land lying between the Northwest Quarter, Section 19, Township 12, North, Range 5 West of the Indian Meridian, City of Yukon, Canadian County, Oklahoma, known as Parcel 3.2. A tract of land lying in the northwest quarter <coughs> of Section 19, Township 12 North, Range 5 West of the Indian Meridian, City of Yukon, Canadian County, Oklahoma, known as Parcel 3.3. A tract of land lying in the southwest quarter of Section 19, Township 12 North, Range 5 West, of the Indian Meridian, City of Yukon, Canadian County, Oklahoma, known as Parcel 4.3. A tract of land, item D, a tract of land lying in the southwest quarter of Section 19, Township 12 North, Range 5 West, of the Indian Meridian, <coughs> City of Yukon, Canadian County, Oklahoma, known as Parcel 4.4. Do I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Motion and second. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, vote please. Alberts? Yes. Smeistrela? Yes. Russell? Yes. McCarran? Yes. Item 12, consider accepting the temporary easement from Butte Land Investments. LLC to allow for the construction on Frisco Road located in the northeast quarter, Section 24, Township 12, Range 6 West of Indian Meridian, City of Yukon, Canadian County, Oklahoma, better known as Parcel Number 2. Do I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Motion second, any discussion? In this, 
this is just the additional piece of land that's on the other side of the road on Frisco Road where we have mm -hmm. easements over there. Uh, Jim, do you have any? Right, that, yeah. That's the intersection that uh, Vandement will meet. Meet with. Right, and those right will there. be curb cuts and what have you. Right. <coughs> when you, we have to deal there. with both sides of the road, so. <laughs> right. Okay, any other further discussion? Seeing none, vote please. McCarran? Yes. Smystrela? Yes. Russell? Yes. Alberts? Yes. Item 13, new business. Mr. Jefferson. No new business tonight, Mr. Mayor. Council discussion. Ms. Erlene? Yes, I'd like to thank everyone who has come to the meeting this evening. It's uh, kind of like church. It's great. The whole congregation. Well, we're happy you're here, and thank you. Richard? I also would like to thank all of you for being here and participating and your work here. Just thank you for uh, being here to help us. And uh, everybody have a good night and a wonderful week. Thank you. John? Yeah, a few things. Uh, first, I'd like to say thanks to Terry for Martin for being here tonight and representing the small businesses in the Yukon. Being one, I moved from Oklahoma City out here and I've hired if you can count me there's five of us three of us live in Yukon but also coming up on the uh, Christmas time I know that before long the chamber will be here to encourage you to shop Yukon so not only do you help support a local business that employs someone that lives in Yukon your tax dollar stays here and help help fund the projects build the streets the parks the splash pads and those types of things so I appreciate Terry you being here and also just Remember, it's, it's Christmas time. Shop Yukon. Try your best to keep your money here because it matters. Uh, <clears throat> Mike, you might be going to remind the people, but Chill Your Cheeks is coming up. It's November the 18th. That's 5K run. So if you've got uh, a little extra energy, a little extra money, a little extra time, or just want to go and socialize, it's a great opportunity to come to the park, see the people turn on the lights, hang out, have some free food, snacks, not really dinner, but anything. Uh, come and visit and ha have a good time. And then lastly, uh, Mr. Andrews, thank you for being here again with uh, a group of students uh, that are here anxious. I hope they seem to be anxious. They're probably anxious to leave, but I hope they're anxious to retake uh, the horseshoe up here and, and learn, and uh, I appreciate that. Uh, so in 1983 and before, uh, about the time that Mr. Andrews was in school, I was one of you guys, so I made my way up here, so I'm an alumni who served as the mayor a couple of times and everything so I appreciate your interest in government uh, a lot of times it looks like we're making stew it's not very exciting but it, it matters so I appreciate your interest in our community thank you very much thank you Mr. Andrews for continuing to uh, generate these young people with the interest in, in government and important issues thank you very much and for me I just uh, I, you know Yukon is a, a great place to be Guys, I, you couldn't pick a town that I'm more proud of. Went over to the Arts and Crafts Festival they had. They had a big bake sale uh, in, uh, that uh, we did very well with. And those kinds of funds and those are turned back around right into our city for things like the Spirit League that we have where we can go out and put in facilities that are actually paid for by funds that we raise right here in the community. So, you know, Yukon is a, a really great place. John has already spoken to you about uh, Saturday and November the 18th on the Chill Your Cheeks run. Uh, but there's also, uh, right next to it, there's a jingle walk about an hour later. And I'm not sure that uh, I know what the jingle walk is, but it's on my list. Uh, jingle or jiggle? It says jingle. It could, <laughs> I, did, I didn't check the age group on there to see whether it was jingle or jiggle. I think it depends on the individual. Yeah, yeah I think right. it's probably a... A personal thing but uh, I have a few other things here uh, Thursday November the 16th uh, see it's uh, tickets go on sale for uh, sounds of the season uh, Friday November the 17th uh, all sounds of the season tickets go on sale uh, and uh, during all of its several locations here around town uh, YNB uh, City of Yukon rec area uh, Dale Robertson Center uh, so uh, you can stop by and pick up your tickets there. Reserve tickets on sale. Uh, 
at the Dale Robertson Center, are, the reserve tickets are only on sale at the Dale Robertson Center, excuse me, and each ticket is $10 with a limit of six per person. For those of you who have not ever attended, uh, the Sounds of the Season is the Oklahoma City Philharmonic comes out here and plays for the Yukon residents. Uh, it's a very big thing, and uh, it's very special uh, to me. I've always enjoyed it. One of the one wonderful quality of life things we have. Friday, November the 17th, the Mabel C. Fry Library hosts the Yukon Community Coffee. Saturday, the Ladies Library Club <coughs> on November the 18th, Ladies Library Club Silent Auction. Uh, closes at noon, so uh, you might want to be there to make sure you're the last entry on the sheet. I don't know. Uh, once again, chill your cheeks in the Jingle Walk that same day. Uh, they also have a Chris Kringle Carnival at the Yukon Community Center, featuring live entertainment, games, crafts, uh, Christmas characters, and pictures with Santa. The opening of Christmas in the Park for the holiday season, 6.30 p.m., uh, it's starting November the 19th. The park will open 6 to 10 nightly until New Year's Eve. And the three park complex uh, opens. Uh, there's actually three small parks all attached to each other. Uh, and I'm also really excited about our new opportunity to have a, a really, we had a chance this last week to go look at a similar facility uh, down in the Dallas area of what we're anticipating is going to be coming here for a water park and it's pretty special folks so I'm looking forward to that coming this way and with is there any other further business Could, yes ma'am yes ma'am okay. uh, I don't know how many of you have been to the nutcracker here in Yukon um, there's three of us that are involved raise your hand and so it's December 2nd and 3rd and there are tickets Again, at YNB, any of our branches. And um, they're $15, I think, uh, in advance, 20 at the door. But it's, it's also, a, it's not the Oklahoma City Philharmonic, but it's a live orchestra, like seven, and it's in the, what do you call that building? At the old high school. Fine Arts Fine Auditorium, Fine. thank you. Um, it's a December... Second at eight o'clock on Saturday night, and on Sunday afternoon it's at two o'clock. So that's what I know. Okay. Don't forget that. Anything else? No further business before the council this evening. This meeting is adjourned.